So let's show you in this video how to share a pre-recorded video. So there might be times in a live where you want to either an intro, might be a video file, we do that. It might be that you're bringing on a testimonial. It might be that there's a tutorial that you've pre-recorded and you wanna bring that in and share it. So lots of opportunities, lots of reasons why you might want to bring in a pre-recorded video. A few things to point out, try and keep it to the, the size that you've got here. So if you're in this uh, widescreen, this 16 by nine format, then your video wants to come in the same really, else you, it's not gonna sit on here. So let me just grab a couple of things. Uh, so for instance, our intro video, our countdown timer video, if I just drop it on here, it's then going to replace the scene that's already in. I want to, and hopefully you've got this by now, if you've been tracking through and watching the other videos, we're going to create a new scene and if I just call this intro video and I can now, so we're on intro video. Now when I pick up this video file and I literally just pick it up, drop it on here and in comes my video. Now, what I want to point out is uh, I'll mute it on this computer so the microphone's not picking it up, but uh, I want you to see that when I drop this video in, uh, a couple of things happen. Firstly, it mutes my microphone. By default in the settings, Ecamm is going to assume that if you're playing a video, you're not gonna be talking over it. If there is an occasion where actually you're playing a video and maybe you want to be able to talk along, maybe there isn't even any sound, just a, a bit of a background thing, uh, then all you gotta do is unmute your microphone down here in the sound levels, but uh, just know that by default, it will uh, mute you when you're playing a video. And that's great because it has caught me and others out. Um, you know, you might be clicking and coughing, things like that. Hopefully not complaining and saying things that you wouldn't want people to hear, but I'm sure it happens. All right, so uh, this is your little tab that comes over the top here and it says to you, um, start the video from the beginning or start it from the last position when the scene starts. So typically it would always be start from the beginning. Every time I come to this scene, I want it to start from the start. I've got my little uh, scrubber bar here to be able to go through this video. I've got a separate audio level in here. Do watch the video that I've just made talking about sound levels. You will, I've got into real detail there about how to balance these out. So check that video out if you haven't seen it. And then here it says, when the video ends, what do you want to happen? Do you just want to stop and do nothing? Do you want the video to loop? or typically go to next scene. So if I've got this as my intro, let's just cue that one up, go to next scene. Uh, over here in my scenes, I'm gonna just lift it above this and then what I want it to do is to come to me at the end of it. And so notice what's happening. Look, the sure microphone is muted in this one. It'll come down to me and it'll be automatically unmuted. So I can just push this right to the end of here and let's just watch what happens. There it goes, video's finished and it's come across to me. The same thing might happen if maybe I've got a testimonial. In fact, I think we've just recently put one in. So I can just go back in here to my recent ones. We can play this video for instance, and again, set the same thing that um, when it's finished, I want it to go to the next scene. So I've passed over, I've got somebody giving me a testimonial, and then I go and it comes back to me and I can go, wasn't that great? It, you know, and we pick up and carry on. So very easy, very powerful. I would just say with your videos, create a new scene every time you do it and label it. And uh, if it's the kind of thing that maybe if you've got a, a set of them potentially, you know, there are times when you're on a Zoom call or you're on a live and you go, oh, I've got a testimonial video that'd be really good. Or I've got somebody explaining something. But if you've got them in here and potentially in your scenes, you could have a folder in there that's videos and then it's just lists out your scenes. Yeah, name them up to what they should be. You can see what a mess I'm in. You know, if, if I've just dropped a video on my me folder over here on my me scene, that's gonna look really confusing. So now I need to rename this uh, Alessio testimonial or something like that. So your videos aren't showing in the overlays down here. Uh, you can just see that there's a stack of them in there that have been kept in. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised actually how old these are that they go back, but uh, you can clear your recent items. Again, what I would say to you is if, for instance, I've just dragged this video in from a random folder, or it might be on my desktop, and then I go and move that to another folder or rename that folder. If I come back to this scene, I'm going to get a message going, we can't locate the video. So 
a little tip, a little pro tip really here. I would create a folder in your movies folder. So on your computer, you've got your desktop, your downloads and things, and you've got a movies folder. I tend to use that and I put a folder in there that says four lives do not touch and anything like you know any of these video clips and things that I'm using as assets in the same way that I've done it here and I've just made a little folder for all of these I can then keep this in one place and I know that that path to the video is not going to change because it's always going to be in that folder so little tip there for you it's happened to me in the past I've suddenly been on a live and I hit to play the video and it will say can't find it and it's because I've moved it when I've been tidying up or I've renamed my folders or something like that but simple as that to play a video now there are going to be some videos that i'm talking about and referencing on here these videos have been taken out of our ecamm live academy we've got a ridiculously big library of videos uh, training in there complete start to finish so if you're looking at these ones and you find there are gaps down in the description is a link to our ecamm live academy we'd love you to come and join us we run the thing as a live boot camp twice a year but you can also join and just access those videos so you've got the full content in a nice ordered way uh, rather than these ones that are over here on YouTube. So um, down in the description if you want to catch some of those extra videos.